The leader of a paramilitary mercenary group halts an armed rebellion against Russia, the same country they were help, helping in the ongoing war against Ukraine. This comes after Russia's president vowed to defend his country while ordering the military to crush the Wagner group. As Christian Benavidez reports, the company's owner has decided to pull back after the leader of Belarus announced he brokered a deal between both sides. Tensions between the Wagner paramilitary group and Russia's military may be easing after Yevgeny Prigozhin, Wagner's leader, announced his troops who were previously heading to Moscow would instead turn around. A dramatic escalation earlier led to speculation of a potential civil war. During an emergency televised address on Saturday, Russian President Vladimir Putin vowed to defend his country against an armed rebellion. We will protect our people and our statehood from any threats, including treason from the inside. What we are facing now is treason. But hours later, Wagner announced it was pulling back. Prigozhin telling his troops in an audio message that they turned around before blood could be shed. Late Friday, Wagner had taken over Russia's military headquarters in Rostov-on-Don, south of Moscow, vowing to oust the defense minister. The mercenary group, which fights on the side of Russia in Ukraine, has grown increasingly agitated with Russia's military leadership. Vast territories have been lost, and there are three, four times more soldiers killed compared to what is being reported. We have daily losses of up to a thousand people, Pergoshin had said in a video message when they initially started their armed rebellion. As Russia's internal conflict plays out, the war in Ukraine continues. A Russian missile hit a 24-story tower in Kyiv, and Ukrainian officials say they've intercepted more than 20 missiles. Christian Benavides, CBS News. It's also being reported that some troops working for the Wagner Group are retreating back to Ukraine.